Hey guys, Jeff here from Rockridge Four Wheel Drive. Um, just want to show you something real quick um, about the the center axle disconnect system that is on like the earlier XJs and YJs. Um, since it's winter, it's a good time to talk about this and talk about what you can do to eliminate it or make the system more reliable. Um, I've got McGill showing everything here on the axle so that you're familiar and you can see what I'm talking about. But anyways, right here where this block off plate is, normally there's this shift fork mechanism here. It's called the center axle disconnect. And it is operated um, with vacuum. So anyways, the issue is that it's pretty unreliable if it's really cold out or you have a vacuum leak or whatever. Um, the shift fork here is not going to shift over to engage the two-piece axle shaft setup that's in here in the collar. So what we like to do is either get rid of this or replace this with um, a 4x4 posi lock cable so that you can manually engage and disengage the shift fork so that um, you're not stuck stranded. Because your four wheel drive, you know, while the drive shaft's spinning and everything, if um, the two axles aren't combined, then the, the power, the torque is gonna go to the path of least resistance, which is gonna stop right here because the axles aren't connected. So anyways, this is, uh, a block off plate and all you're doing there is just simply covering up a hole um, since you're getting rid of you know this mechanism here and how you can identify if you have this set up on your Jeep is obviously this big piece here but um, this whole cast portion right here it's not like this on like a TJ or even later YJ you know so that's an easy identification so now we're going to step over here to the bench so I can show you actually how it works. Okay, What we got here is we've got the OEM two-piece axle. Okay, So this stays in the diff. Like if you were to pull out your axle to replace your U-joint, just this section here would come out. Um, but this is how it's sitting in the diff or in the axle. And then this right here, these splines are what are actually engaging into the differential itself. But when this axle, um, the actuator is not engaged, the collar stays over on the one axle, which um, you know is gonna put the power, it's just gonna sit here and spin like this if it doesn't actuate. So what we have to do is make sure that this works and it sits on here like this. So when it actuates, it shifts over and it engages these two axles and makes them one axle. So now it's, you know, one, one solid piece and your four wheel drive will work like normal. Um, what we're doing to this particular Jeep, which is why we have the block off plate, is, is we're going to a chromoly axle setup when we're eliminating all of this which this is nice one piece solid shaft, just like would be on a TJ or a JK. Um, and we're just getting rid of all this. So you don't have to have a spare inner, a spare outer. Um, you know, you don't have to worry about this failing at the most inconvenient time. Now, if you went with a posi lock cable, what you'd be doing is replacing the housing and essentially you'll have a cable and you'll manually on your dash pull the cable in and out to move the shift fork. So that's a lot more reliable way to do it. Um, however, you still have this setup. So we just like to get rid of it and make our stuff strong and reliable. So what I want to show you next is that in the housing on the far outside of the disconnect is this surface right here. 
this is where the seal is right in. This is the seal surface, okay? And so when we're converting over to a one-piece shaft, I mean, you can see the diameter is obviously different. What we need to do is move the seal location from way out here, since we don't need any of this to be lubricated anymore. We're gonna move the seal location all the way over to here to this seal surface, like on a normal Dana 30 front end. So we'll go over to the Jeep and we'll show you in the diff where we're having to put a seal now to um, hold the oil in the diff so it's not coming all the way out to the disconnect anymore. Okay, so right here, this is your normal, oops, sorry, it's kind of dark. Back up a little bit, there you go. This is the normal location for an inner axle seal. Okay, and uh, this one in this type of axle is there. That's normal, you don't have to do anything with that side. Over here is where a seal on this axle is normally not at. Okay, the seal is normally not here. It's all the way over here. So when you're changing to a one piece axle, you need to put a seal right here so that the oil stays in the diff right here. Um, most disconnect kits come with the block off plate um, over here, the gasket, the bolts, and then they include a new inner seal for this side, which is a normal one. And then they include two different seals for this size uh, because this tube diameter, it varies. So we actually ran into an issue with this axle it's one of the super rare unicorn axles where the outer diameter of the seal is actually um, just shy of two inches. So we had to go get a, a different seal than what's included in the normal disconnect kit. And that can be an issue um, for people. So if you get two seals and they both don't fit, either it's too big or too small, you need the one that's exactly a two inch outer diameter. And this happens to be a 93 Wrangler. So anyway, that's about it. But I wanted to show you guys, it's not as simple as just taking an axle out and putting a new one in. I mean, you're having to do some block off here, which is no big deal, but um, you need to pull the diff out. You don't need to change your backlash or your carrier preload anymore because um, it's already set up. You just need to Disconnect, obviously take out your uh, bearing cap bolts, pull out your carrier, and you know, put the seal in, then you can put everything back together, slide your axle in like normal, and you're good to go. So thanks for uh, checking it out. It's rockridgefourwheeldrive.com. Uh, we appreciate you watching. Thanks.